Hey, 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 guys and ladies, welcome, welcome, welcome to Helsing Academy. Yo, Helsing here. I'm going to show you uh, some ways how to encrypt some things on your computer using Windows, Windows 11. This might work in Windows 10, I'm not sure. I've got Windows 11, so I'm going to say Windows 11. So, four things we're going to do today. One, I'm going to teach you how to encrypt a Word file, okay? Two, I'll then teach you how to hide that Word file in a picture, okay? Three, I'll next show you how to encrypt your actual uh, USB or volume. Now, to do this step, you're going to need BitLocker. And uh, with Windows 11, it come, it's free with BitLocker Pro. Okay? And then for the fourth thing I'll teach you, I'll teach you how to hide the volume. Everything is free except for the BitLocker version. That comes with Pro. So if you have Pro, then it's free for you. But if you don't have Pro, then you've got to like, upgrade or something like that. So here we go. I'm going to be fast and quick because I know we all have a lot of things we need to do. Let's get out of this beautiful little menu. And we're going to go to our Try Me folder, okay? We're going to go here, our little special test place. Now, first off, we need to have a file that we want to encrypt, okay? So we're going to make one. So this works for Word, and this also works for Excel. We'll call this Diary. Okay, because some of us out there have diaries that we want to keep from our people or family. So let's say, Dear Diary, today I fell in love with that hot something, something, something <laughs> at the bus stop. Hope dad isn't too angry. Shaba. Okay, so that's our file. And now we want to encrypt it because maybe you fell in love with this awesome guy or girl, I don't judge, and you want to like hide that from your parents. I don't think you should hide it from your parents, but maybe you want to because your parents are constantly invading your privacy and always getting in your business. Not saying it happened to me, but yeah, you know. Actually, sometimes it's good when they do that. So, in any case, go down to More Options, okay? From here, we're going to hit Tools, all right? Next, we're going to go to General Options. From there, it pulls up the Password password uh, Encryption screen. So, the password to open, we'll just make it easy, 1, 2, 3, 4. Don't worry about a password to modify because, nah, don't worry about that. We're going to hit OK. Once again, put in the password to open, 1, 2, 3, 4. We're doing basic encryption here. And then hit save. Alright. So now we want to we're going to exit out. Now we want to open that file. We've got to put in the password. 1234. Okay. And then boom, it's open. Yay, your diary is right there. And no one knows about it unless you give them the password. But wait, now you're like, okay, you're you get you're getting bullied at school, you're extorting money from all the, the, I don't want to say the nerds, but you know, because nerds are cool. But in any case, now you got to hide those files from like the government, right? The government at your school, because they don't know where all this money's coming from, so you got to hide it. So let, we'll call it the bully doc. No, we'll call it, yeah, bully, bully cash. Because now you turned around, you're extorting money from bullies, beating those guys up, right? So, bully cash records. These are all the records that you have of you beating up the bullies and taking that money and donating it to like Mother Teresa or something, right? However, you want to you wanna encrypt it. So go to more options again. Bully Cash, go to tools. Go to general options. Look at that, password to open. One, two, three, four. Yay. Okay. Re-enter password to proceed. One, two, three, four. Yay. Then hit save. It already exists. Do you want to replace it? Yes. Now, something you need to know. If you encrypt your files using this method, when you get into the file, be aware of it at all times. Because if you leave your desk, someone else comes up behind you, and they can go through the same process and put in a new password, and you won't know what it is. Okay? So, that being said and done, we're going to exit out. Bully cache right there. Password, one, two, three, four and we're in now going forward let's say now we want to hide these files right we want to hide these files in a video or a gif or a png right 
So, first off, let's change these names and make it easier. So we'll just call this uh, pick.png. We'll call this uh, gif.gif. And we'll call this one tested mp4. This shouldn't have anything in it. Okay, that should be a clear vid uh, with no secrets in it. So now, what you're going to do is you're going to want to make a zip file, okay? So select the files that you want to hide. These two. We're going to right click, right click, compress to a zip file, okay? And now the zip file, you're going to name it. We'll just call it SEC for secret, okay? So SEC.zip. Now go to your CMD, all right? Go to your command prompt. Go to search bar, put in CMD, and choose Run as Administrator, okay? That'll pull up your ba -ba -da -ba, Administrator Command Prompt, which is cool. Now, I have a custom command prompt, which I like so much, and it looks all matrixy. You can customize yours, too, for absolutely free 99 by right-clicking on it and choosing Properties. That's another story. So now we've got to get to this folder, all right? We have to get to the folder location for these guys. So I can do it the long way or I can do it the easy way. I'll click on one of the folders in here. I'll push Control Shift C, okay? Control Shift C. Oh wait. I can just do this. Ha ha. Go up there, push Control C, and that gives me the folder. So I'm going to put CD and I'm going to Control V and it takes me to that folder. Okay? So now I'm in the folder I need to be in. So, we're here. Once again, how do you do that? Click in the address bar at the top, push Control C for copy, or you can right click and put copy. Then over here, you're going to put CD, change directory, then paste the directory you want to go to. So now we're in the directory of the Try Me folder, all right? So we want to, this is what we want to hide. It's in here, sec.zip. We want to hide these files, all right? So now, we're gonna, let's say we want to hide it in a GIF, okay? So we're going to put copy space forward slash b gif dot gif plus so it's the file that it's the picture that we want to use as the front of the thing right plus the secrets that we want to hide so sec dot zip all right secret dot zip this guy here then space the new name for our folder um we'll call it or for our picture so t1 that GIF. Now it has to match, okay? The thing has to match. So t1.gif and boom, one file is copied. Here it is, t1.gif. Now when someone clicks on it, what do they see? They see your awesome GIF. Yeah, boy. Now if you want to access it in order and get the secrets out, you need a zip extractor or zip opener, okay? So here, as you can see, I've already got my zip folder open. One second. All right, so our file is called t1.gif. So the original is gif.gif right here. Click on that. What do we get? The gif. Now go to t1.gif. What do we get? The secrets. Here we are. Our secret files. Yay. Ba, ba, ba. Put in the password. One, two, three, four. Bam. All your extortion records from the bullies at school that you beat up and took money from then donated to Mother Teresa. I'm joking. Don't extort anything or our diary one two three four yeah the secret files in your diary yeah you and your secret loves are right there okay and we're done so now and then just exit out of there go to the little upper arrow thing we're back to our regular folder and bam there we go now you can do this with gifs you can do this with pictures even with movies though beware with some videos it doesn't always work the way i think it should Let's see. All right, so this is just a video. All right, so let's try it with a test vid. Okay, let's try it with a video. So we're gonna put copy forward slash b. Then we're gonna put test. So we're gonna hide it in this. Okay, so test vid dot mp4 plus, and we're gonna hide these guys. Sec dot zip. Sec dot zip. All right, and we're gonna name it. Uh, my 
secret movie dot mp4 okay so there it is my secret movie dot mp4 now when you click on it any random person clicks on it it's just yo yo, yo this is the test video it's me test 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 okay and that's all you see the test video right however when you access it using a zip file extractor my secret movie Boo yeah! Your files are right there. They're right there. This is so cool. You hid your files in a video. Yeah. And the same thing works for a picture. I know you guys are like, guys, you okay, I believe you. I'm gonna show you anyway. So we're gonna use this picture here, pic.png. Yeah, looks beautiful, right? So let's go copy for its place. B P I C dot PNG. Now the extensions have to match, okay? PNG plus SEC dot ZIP, and it'll be my secret picture, my secret pick dot PNG. Make sure that this extension here for the the main thing you want, you're hiding it behind, and the ending extension for the new name are the same. They have to be the same, okay? So here we go, my secret pick. So if someone clicks on your secret pick, what do they see? They only see the secret pick. They don't really see, they don't see the secrets behind it. But if you use a zip extractor, go up. My secret pick that PNG. <gasps> there it is again! Your secrets are there! So now I've showed you how to hide your secret files in a GIF, in a movie or video, and in a picture. Okay? Now, the truth is, you can probably extend this to several different things. All right, I don't know. It, I don't know how deep this goes, but it, it can go pretty deep, I imagine. There's a joke in there. Let's uh, stay appropriate. So now, that's we taught you how to do that, right? So we're gonna take this guy, this guy, and this guy, and this guy, because we don't need these guys anymore, and we don't need these guys anymore. I'm gonna put them in. The drawing board. So we made a a GIF. Uh, so we have a GIF, a movie, and a picture. They all have our secret files. Okay. Just to make sure, let's go check that zip extract one more time. The bingo secret files, bingo secret files, and bingo secret files. Now they all have secret files. Okay. So. The next step is, I taught you how to encrypt the document itself, then I taught you how to hide it in a picture or something, or a video. Next, I'm going to teach you volume encryption, okay? So, for that, you're going to need a USB, like this guy here, okay? So, take out your USB. What's on here? I don't know. Plug it in. Oh, what's one of our elite tech? Uh, ones. Oh, okay. Cool. These are hidden files. Technically, you don't see that, but in any case, here you do. So, um, and one of our Elite Tech upgrades, USBs. We want to hide this. Okay, we want to encrypt it. So we're gonna push. Actually, there's a fast way to do this. The fast way. So here. I'm going to take these files out <coughs> and move them over here because they are so awesome. All right. Now we're actually going to format this drive because I want you to see it from like a new clean perspective. The quick format, uh, it'll be called test and start. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Beautiful. Now, I'm going to teach you how to encrypt it. Oh, wait, where did you get that? So, to encrypt it, all you have to do is right, right click on it, go to show more options, and choose turn on BitLocker. Okay? Now, I'm doing this because when you encrypt a brand new empty drive, it's so fast. So, we're going to use a password to unlock the drive. Once again, we're going to choose 1234. Don't do this in real life. Re-enter your password, one, two, three, four, 
and next. It doesn't match the minimum length requirements. Okay. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's our password. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, print recovery key. It's going to print it. It's going to save it as a rec key. Okay, save it in my documents. Save. Then we're going to go to next. Encrypt use space only. All right. Compatible mode, so we can use it across different drives. Start encrypting. Bam! When you encrypt a fresh drive, it's awesome, fast, and automatic. And then anything that you put in there is going to be protected behind that encryption wall. Okay? So one second, it's almost done. <laughs> Now, if you're encrypting, oh, okay, it's already complete. If you're encrypting something that already has things on it, it can take hours, all right? So now, to test the encryption, we're going to take it out, eject it, eject it. You can't eject because it's blah, blah, blah. Just pull it out. All right, now I'm going to stick it back in. <laughs> Look at that. Un Unlock drive D. It's bit like a protected. Oh, wait. Oh, no. I forgot an important step. Okay, guys, I missed out on a very important step. So now you know how to do that, right? You know how to, enc you know how to encrypt that. Now I'm going to show you something else cool. Okay. Oh, wait. So... Password one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we have access. Boom. So now you know how to do a basic encryption. Okay. So now I'm going to take it a little bit further. We're going to go a little deeper. All right. Now I'm going to teach you how to make a drive or volume here. And it can be a secret volume. And on that secret volume, that's where you're gonna that's where you're gonna hide all your stuff. All right. So now you know how to encrypt. Senpai! We're gonna pop that out of there. Now with the new disc, right here, I'm gonna stick this baby in. Wow! All right. So now I'm gonna go to disc part. Okay. So I'm gonna pull this up. So one, I'm gonna pull the partition. The uh. Partition Manager, what is it called? Something like that. Disk Management. Alright, so Disk Management shows that our disk here only has one volume. Okay, just one volume. So, we're going to go back to our CMD. We're going to put in, go to Disk Part. Okay, maybe I should increase the size of this so it's easier for you to see it. So now, we are in Disk Part, okay? So from disk part, we're going to say list disk. All right. So this is the disk we want. All right. So we're going to say select select disk one. Now disk one is selected. All right. And if one is, if you do this, you forget which one is selected. Just say list disk again, and it'll show you with a little asterisk right there. So from here, we're in disk one. We're going to clean it, erase everything. So put clean. All right, so now, boom, it's clean, it's clear, there's nothing there, all right? List disk again. All right, it's free, online, there's nothing there. We want this to be GPT, not MBR, so we're going to say convert GPT, okay? Now it's in a GPT format, you don't want G M MBR, it's, it's limiting. And list disk again to make sure. So now it's in the GPT format. So <clears throat> now we're going to create a partition, okay? So we're going to say create partition primary size equals, let's say, 1,000 or well, one, 1 gigabyte, 1 GB. 1 GB. 
all right so boom it's right there we just created our one partition that's going to be our secret partition wink wink all right so now for everything else let's say we just want to create a regular partition okay so it looks like a regular disk so we're going to say create partition primary all right so from there, create partition primary, just make it a little bigger for you guys so you can see it. I'm going to hit enter, and it's going to take up the rest of the remaining space. You see that right there, okay? So now we're going to say list uh, volume, all right? Now, I'll remind you, these guys have not been formatted yet, okay? i got to shrink it back a little bit. So, mind you, they have not been formatted, so they're pretty much, they're raw. And that's an issue, okay? You don't want, you're not able to really use that. Oh, that one already has a letter, though. Can I access it? It's here. Uh, nope, it's not been, it hasn't been formatted. So, we're going to exit there. we got to format these guys. So, here we go. We're going to say... Select and make a little bigger. Select volume three. All right. So this is volume three here. That's going to be our secret drive. All right. We're going to hit four. We're going to say now it's selected. We're going to say format. Format quick. Uh, FS format system or file system equals ntfs what ntfs and then label e e label equals my secret okay and now it's been formatted so now there you go it's right there you can access it do whatever you want but wait where's the other one where's the other one it's not there because it hasn't been formatted all right so we're going to say now select volume four all right volume four has been selected now basically this whole same thing right here if you don't want to write it out just copy paste but change the name you'll say maybe something like my you say Vegas <laughs> just put Vegas all right and so now it's going to create a new volume and that new volume is going to be called Vegas yay and oh it doesn't have a label okay so now we see here it exists all right so you got my secret and Vegas but something's missing what's missing can you figure it out do 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 Okay, here's what's missing. A drive letter. If there's no letter, it's not going to show up, okay? There's no letter for it. This has a letter. This has a letter. This one needs a letter. So, there are two ways to do this. The basic way, let me see. List volume. Make sure where we are. So, we're here. The basic way to do this is just write assign. Now, if you want to assign a specific letter, you're going to say assign... So if you want to assign a letter, just say assign and boom. It'll assign a random one. And so now, there it is. It is now E, okay? Or if you want to change that, you're going to say assign letter equals whatever you want. Let's say Z. Boom. Now it is Z, okay? You assign it the Z letter. Don't ever assign X as your letter, okay? That's like a private system thing. You can do it, but I don't recommend it. So now we have this and this. So now we're going to hide our file. Where are our secret files? Hello. So we got these three secret files, right? So we're going to put them in a new file. Where's the folder? Here we go new folder called my secret life as a ninja bro okay so that's the name of our folder I'm gonna take these guys I'm gonna copy them put them in here alright 
So now, and remember, when you click on it, when a normal person clicks on it, they're just going to see the icon file. Wait, no, that shouldn't be there. The movie, movie, TF, my secrets, these guys should be there. Yes, skip, replace. Okay, and the icon file, we will delete that because we don't need that icon file. But you can hide it in icon file too. So, we have a picture, a GIF, and a MP, an MP4. Now I'm going to go back and uh-huh those are still there so we're going to take this we're going to go to my secret d we're going to go here we're going to hide it there okay so now from there we're going to go back and our secret files are hidden here in my secret d okay bing bam boom secret secret secrets everywhere so now let's say you want to encrypt this drive just like i showed you earlier going to hit right click go down to show more options turn on bitlocker nuts and biscuits we should have done this before I put it in okay you know what cancel yes I want to cancel bitlocker setup because it is much faster when you're encrypting an empty drive so let's just delete that for now all right, we're gonna now it's empty. We're gonna right click on it. Turn on BitLocker. All right, we're gonna use the password. The password is gonna be one two three four five six seven eight. Once again, password is going to be one two three four five six seven eight. All right, that's our password. Never use that password in real life. Okay. Print to recovery key. Recovery key. One two three four five six seven eight. Never include your password in the recovery key file. Okay. Next. Encrypt use disk space only. Because we're not having to use disk spaces like this small. Compatible. There's it's there is some space being used. Start encrypting. And here we go. 91, 92. This baby's encrypting. It's gonna look good. <clears throat> now you may be wondering, wait a second. I have two volumes on one disk and I can encrypt just one? Yes, you can encrypt just one. Encryption of D is complete. Smashing. Do we still have disk management? We do. So now disk management will show us. Is it showing us that it has BitLocker on it? Yep, right there. BitLocker encrypted. So now we're going to go to our secret file, try me file. We're going to open up D. We're going to copy our Ninja Bro secrets from beating up bullies and taking their lunch money. And now it is in here. D. In order to get to it, you need the code. So now we're going to take it out. I'm going to show you that is encrypted by testing it every on every step of the way. This is a long video, but it is so worth it if you do what's in here. So we're going to just pop that baby out. Senpai. So now you see that's gone. We're going to put it back in here. Let's say your dad finds your your dad finds your USB or your principal finds it and he he's like, I heard you fell in love with some random hot Asian girl at a bus stop. I wanna see and hear all the secrets. Alright, and you're like, No, Papa, no and boom. Right here. It's encrypted, right? So even though it's just it's one USB, you can have one volume on it that's encrypted and one volume that's not. Hey. Hey Sunday. Hey, hey, hey back, back babe girl. That is that is working right now. I love you so much. Okay, honey. I love you, baby girl. Okay, so now we click on this. Put in our password. I'm working right now, guys. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Sunday. Okay, hit unlock. And bam, he got in there. So let's say your dad said he's not going to give you lunch money if you don't give him your code. So he gave him the code, he goes in. He thinks he's found the good stuff. He's about to take it to your stepmom. And it's Sunday. I love you, honey. But the imaginary stepmom for the people I'm talking to. Okay, Sunday. Can you get her? I love you. Now, here. Your dad gets in there. He's like, I know your secrets. I will find them. And he clicks on it. He sees the movie. He's like, oh no. Yo, 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 is it what I think it video. is? Test, test, test. Okay. And that's all that pops up. That. And he's like, wait a second. I know the files are in it somewhere. He clicks it again. He sees pictures. He clicks it again. It's just a GIF. He doesn't see your secret files. Or your stepmom doesn't see your secret files. Your principal doesn't see your secret files. Or whatever. So now you're like, yay. But if you want to see your secret files, you know what to do. Go to zip. Go to D. That's where it is. Ooh, system volume information. That's cool. Secret life is a ninja bro. Open up secret pick. Bam, your files are right there. Bam, there's your diary. That's also encrypted. One, two, three, four. So many levels of encryption. Yay. Keep all your love secrets safe. No longer will your stepfather have access to your private journals. Huh. Okay, stepdads are not bad. I'm just using a stepdad as an example. Okay, stepdads can rock. They can be very amazing. Trust me. So now that's hidden. But wait, you're like, hold on, Mr. Helsing. Hold on. What, what, what if? Is there another way I can hide this actual, this here? Can I hide my secret volume? Yes, you can. Here's how. Go back to this part. All right, we're back here. If you forgot how to go here, I'll show you once again. Down here, CMD, run as administrator, and you're in disk part. For me, I have a shortcut key that I made, and it gets me right there. Bada bing, bada bam, bada boom. So, you're going to want to go to disk part, okay? Can I shrink this? I can. Disk part. All right, now from there, we're going to choose list disk. Boom. So disk zero. Let's just extend this bit. All right. Hey, Sunday. Disk zero online. That's our hard drive. Here it is. Disk one. That's our target disk that we want to hide. All right. So we're going to say select disk one. Boom. Now we're going to say list volume. All right. So now. We listed the volume. The one we want to hide is this one, my secret D. Okay, there's a joke in there somewhere. Okay, so in any case, we're going to choose select volume three. Select volume three. All right, we selected it. Now we're going to do this. We're going to write one word. It's going to hide it. Remove. Bum, bum, bum. Now the drive letter is gone. Because the drive letter is gone, it. Okay, that's a cute snake. Okay, okay, okay. Tell with your snake friend to to go. I love you. I'll be rear back. All right. So now you're here. As you can see, back here it is now gone. So even if your dad sticks it in the drive, sticks it in the computer, or stepdad, he, he sticks the flash drive in there, he won't see the drive. He doesn't see it. It's not there. Oh, my God. Well, actually, it is there technically. So let's say he went to disk management. If you went to disk management, let's refresh this. So if you went to disk management, boom. It's still there. He'll, it's still there as a partition. Okay. I'm not sure how to hide this part yet, but I'm sure there's a way. There's always a way. Sunday. My daughter wants my attention. Yes, daughters are amazing. I love my daughter. Now here we go. Finishing this. 
So now if he goes here, then he'll see the drive is there. He, he might not know how to access it, but it is there. Now, if you want to access it, all you got to do is go back here into disk part. List disk. All right. So we're in disk one. So now we're going to say list volume. Find the volume that you want to list. So volume three it has no drive letter. I'm going to say select volume three. Select volume three. Volume three is selected. Now we're going to say assign. A S S I G N. Boom. Now it has a letter. Now because it has a letter, you can now access it. Look at that. It's right there. My secrets are back. Yay. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. My secret life has all this stuff. And once again, you're going to open it through your zip file. Hold on. Because it's D. My secret life is an in bro. And boom, your files are right there. Okay, so I have showed you how to encrypt the very file you want to hide, whether it's a Word file or a Excel file. Then I've shown you how to hide it inside of a video, a GIF, or a picture. Then I've shown you how to encrypt the volume or the disk that's hidden in. And then I sh I've shown you how to hide the actual volume. So, boom, boom, boom. Everything's been accomplished. Everything's been accomplished. It's a lot. It's a long video. Though I've just armed you with a lot of awesome ways to protect your personal information against prying stepfathers or prying stepmoms or annoying little brothers or sisters who like to get all your information to blackmail you and force you to buy them chocolate milk every day because they're going to tell everybody fell in love with some hot Asian girl at a bus stop who actually is the daughter of like this great mafia guy. So now you're like, oh my gosh, I'm in a rough place. And yeah, no, it didn't happen to me. Is what I'm saying. Okay, so <clears throat> there you go. Now you know how to protect yourself and not wind up in sticky situations. All right, thank you very much for watching. That's it. That's all. Set the clock on the wall. Deuces. Oh, wait, before we go. Um, this all started because of the amazing guy. Uh, his name is Network Chuck. That's his YouTube name. It's because of him that I even learned about. It's because of him that I learned about um, being able to hide your files inside of other files. Like, the guy is amazing. He's like, I don't know how he knows all that stuff, but he's like, ha. Ah. So, if you get a minute, go to his two YouTube channel, Network Chuck. He is amazing. The guy is like the MacGyver or something of like the, the Doogie Hauser MacGyver of like the tech world. All right? Catch you later. And I'm going to exit out.